And during the process, relax the physical body, focus only on the breath. Don't allow the mind to wander anywhere. And once you focus only on the breath, the mind will get quietened automatically. Very powerful exercise to quieten the mind. Now, with a quietened mind, one should do dhyanam, vasana. This is called as nididhyasanam on supreme truth, brahmatattvam. That is the message of the Upanishads. Sarvam khalvidam brahma, tajjalaniti shanta upasita. So, with a quietened mind, one should do Nididhyasanam Vasana on Brahman. As what? Idam Sarvam Khalu. Verily, everything around us, the only reality, the only absolute reality is Brahman, Supreme Truth, from which arises the relatively real universe, which is ensnarling the mind and is hiding the absolute reality. So, from the absolute reality Brahman arises the universe. That's why Brahman is called Tajjalan. From that Brahman, Srishti, Sthiti, Laham, creation, sustenance and dissolution happens continuously, never-ending process, a cyclic process. Never-ending process. So, <clears throat> unless we understand that the only reality is Brahman and not get caught up the relatively real universe. Universe not mean only the physical universe, even the mental universe or mind, thoughts, emotions and other <coughs> factors that affect the mind. So long you are connected with it, there will never be any peace of mind. 
only if you understand the supreme reality also as your own absolute reality understand that none of the thoughts emotions going through my mind are connected with me cannot attain supreme bliss permanent peace so the upanishad mantra points out the same supreme truth which is brahman pure consciousness so also the true nature of all human beings all living beings actually so my true nature is same brahman which is called as atman now because it is now personalized so this atman or pure consciousness is the <clears throat> fundamental basis on which all the cognition happens within the physical body so the mantra points out that focus on this cognitive capability that is bestowed because of the supreme consciousness which is your own true nature upanishad mantra points out pratibodha viditam matam amritatvam hi vindate atmana vindate viryam vidyaya vindate amritam so bodham bodham pratibodham constant cognition that is happening the channels may be different sense organs but the cognitive capability is happening only because of the pure consciousness present and punishit mantra points out understand that this cognitive capability is possible because of the absolute reality and that is your true nature bodham bodham continuous cognition that is happening bodham bodham pratibodham viditam matam understand that this is your true nature this is established reality established through the upanishads so pratibodha viditam matam amrutatvam hi vindate so knowledge of the supreme reality as my true nature bestows immortality how once you understand your true nature you are no longer connected with the happening to the relative world and so the person reaches a desireless state when there are no desires there is no samsara chakram the only way to get rid of samsara chakram is to reach a desireless state possible through the knowledge of atman atma gnanam jnana devatu kaivalyam pratibodha vijitam matam amrutatvam hi vindate atmana vindate vidyam so this atma gnanam has a great benefit while you are alive with gnanam any difficulties any problems that that happen seemingly one gets great mental fortitude viryam to withstand all that so atmana vindate viryam vidyaya vindate amritam so once you understand internalize and transform yourself as brahmanishtha then you attain immortality so focus on the knowledge of brahman atman so this knowledge of absolute reality bestows immortality and permanent peace and is possible only by study of the vedanta shastras now let us see how bhagwan is explaining further the process of getting this brahma gnanam shri guru bhyo namaha hari om vakratunda maha kaya surya koti sama prabha निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सर्व्यदुर्ब्रह्म गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेशर गुरुसाक्षा परब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम निधे सर्वद्यादे भवरोगिण गुरव सर्वोका दक्षिणमूर्त नम सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा तुतिस्मृतिपुराणा करुणाल नमा भगवत्दशंक लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिणे व्योम व्याप्तदेहाय दक्षिणमूर्त नम 
ಅಪಾರಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧು ಜ್ಞಾನದಂ ಶಾಂತರೂಪಿಣಂ ಶ್ರೀಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ ಗುರು ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಮುದಾನ್ಮಹಂ ಓಂ ಮಲಕ್ಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಮರಾ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಎಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಲೌಡ್ಲಿ ಎಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವರುಣೇಂದ್ರ ರುದ್ರ ಮರುತ ಸ್ತುನ್ವಂತಿ ದಿವ್ಯೈಸ್ತಮೈ ಮೇದೈ ಸಾಂಗ ಪದಕ್ರಮೋಪನಿಷದೈರ್ಗಾಯಂತ ಧ್ಯಾನಾವಸ್ಥಿತ ತದ್ಗತೇನ ಮನಸ ಪಶ್ಯಂತ ಎಂ ಯೋಗಿನ ಯಾಂತ ನ ವಿದುಸ್ಸುರಸುರಗಣಾ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಃ ದೇವಾಯ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನೇ ನಮಃ ಓ ಚಾಂದ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಚಾನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಮರಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಚಾಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶಾಯ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವಾನುವಾಚ ತೇಷಾಮೇವಾನುಕಂಪಾ ಅಹಮಜ್ಞಾನಜ ತಮಃ ನಾಶಯಾತ್ಮಭಾವಸ್ಥ ಧ್ಯಾನದೀಪೇನ ಭಾಸ್ವತ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಷಾಮಿ ತಜ್ಯೋತಿ ತಮಸ ಪರಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಜ್ಞೇಯ ಜ್ಞಾನಗಮ್ಯ ಧೃತಿ ಸರ್ವಸ್ಯವಿಷ್ಠ ನಿ ಜ್ಞಾನೇನ ಸದೃಶ ಪವಿತ್ರಮಿಹ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ತತ್ಸ್ವಯಂ ಯೋಗ ಸಂಸಿದ್ಧ ಕಾಲೇನಾತ್ಮನಿ ವಿಂದತಿ ಜ್ಞಾನೇನ ತು ತದ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಯಾಶಿತಮಾತ್ಮನ ತಾಮಾದಿತ್ಯವಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಯತಿ ತತ್ಪರಂ ಯಥೈ ಧಾಂಸಿ ಸಮಿಧ್ಮಿ ಭಸ್ಮ ಸಾತ್ಕುರು ತೇರ್ಜುನ ಜ್ಞಾನಕ್ನಿಸ್ಸರ್ವಕರ್ಮಿ ಭಸ್ಮ ಸಾತ್ಕುರು ತೇ ಕಾಮಸಂಕಲ್ಪವರ್ಜಿತ ಜ್ಞಾನಗ್ನಿದಗ್ಧಕರ್ಮಾಣ ಸಾಹು ಪಂಡಿತ ಬುಧ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ನೌ ಚಾಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವಾನುವಾಚ ದೈವಿ ಏಷಾ ಗುಣಮಯಿ ಮಮ ಮಾಯಾ ದುರತ್ಯ ಮಾಮೇವ ಹೇ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯಂತ ಮಾಯಾ ಮೇ ತಾಂ ತರಂತಿ ಅನನ್ಯಾಶ್ಚಿಂತಯಂತೋ ಮಾಂ ಏ ಜನ ಪರ್ಯುಪಾಸತೆ ತಾಂ ನಿತ್ಯಾಭಿಯುಕ್ತ ಯೋಗಕ್ಷೇಮ ಮಹಾಮ್ಯಹಂ ಮತ್ತ ಪರತರ ನಾನ್ಯತ ಕಿಂಚಿದಸ್ತಿ ಧನಂಜಯ ಮಯಿ ಸರ್ವಿದ ಪ್ರೋತ ಸೂತ್ರೆ ಮಣಿಗಣಾಯವ ಈಶ್ವರಸೂತ ಹೃದೇಶೇರ್ಜುನ ತಿಷ್ಠತಿ ಭ್ರಾಮಯನ್ ಸರ್ವೂತ ಯಂತ್ರಾರೂಢಿ ಮಾಯ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಪಂಚೋ ಯದಿ ವಿದ್ಯೇತ ನಿವರ್ತೇತ ನ ಸಂಶಯ ಮಾಯಾತ್ರಿದ ದ್ವೈತ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥತ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಅಥ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾದಶೋಧ್ಯಾ ವಿಶ್ವದರ್ಶನ ಯೋಗ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ನಂಬರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವಾನುವಾಚ ತಸ್ಮತ್ವಮುತ್ಥಿಷ್ಠಯಶೋಲಭಸ್ವ ಚಿತ್ವಾ ಶತ್ರೂನ್ ಭುಂಕ್ಷರಾಜ್ಯ ಸಮೃದ್ಧ ಮಯೈವೈತೆ ನಿಹತ ಪೂರ್ವಮೇವ ನಿಮಿತ್ತಮಾತ್ರಭವ ಸಂವ್ಯಸಾಚಿನ್ನ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವಾನುವಾಚ ತಸ್ಮತ್ವಮುತ್ಥಿಷ್ಠಯಶೋಲಭಸ್ವ ಜಿತ್ವಾ ಶತ್ರೂನ್ ಭುಂಕ್ಷರಾಜ್ಯ ಸಮೃದ್ಧ ಮಯೈವೈತೆ ನಿಹತ ಪೂರ್ವಮೇವ ನಿಮಿತ್ತಮಾತ್ರಂ ಭವ ಸಂವ್ಯಸಾಚಿನ್ನ 
ஹார்தம் ஸ்வாகத்தம் ஹார்டி வெல்கம் டு த நெக்ஸ்ட் செஷன் ஆன் தி இலெவன்த் சாப்டர் ஆஃப் த பகவத் கீதா இட் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் விஸ்வரூப தர்ஷன யோகஹா ஓ இன் திஸ் சாப்டர் தேர் ஆர் டூ த்ரீ இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் மெசேஜஸ் தேட் ஆர் பீங் கன்வேட் வாட் இஸ் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் மெசேஜ் ரைட் டவுன் பிகாஸ் ஸ்டடிங் ஜஸ்ட் பகவத் கீதா வெர் பேட்டி மக்கி கா மக்கி விச் ஆல் பீப்புள் டூ is of no use unless you know what is the real <coughs> message the important the purport of these shlokas first overall picture of the 11th chapter is that this chapter basically in a visual form represents upanishad mantra which says that the entire universe is arising from brahman sustained by brahman and finally dissolves in brahman yato va imani bhuta nijayante e najata nijibanti etriyanti abhisam vishanti but nobody can literally see brahman if anybody says i have seen brahman then what he should say please go to the mental hospital No. Nobody can see Brahman. Why? Brahman cannot be comprehended by any of the sense organs including the eye. Ashabdam, asparsham, arupam. No physical form, no color, no taste. Abhyayam. So, Brahman literally cannot be seen by anybody. But to make your feet more what fortified and so that you continue the path till you realize brahman bhagwan in vishwarupa darshanam as saguna brahman saguna saguna brahman saguna ishvara ha write down same nirguna brahman appears as saguna brahman with form that is virad roopam that which is beyond virad roopam is vishwarupam as vishwarupam bhagwan is actually showing that entire creation all the worlds are being seen by arjuna so creation is being shown sustenance being shown destruction is being shown so the physical representation of the upanishad mantra first second important message that is being conveyed is one has to exercise one's free will in the right direction at every point in time you have a choice john camera all of you mean if you not camera on at any point in time you are presented with two options either to follow dharma the right way or to follow adharma the wrong way one may follow adharma either because you don't know what is dharma or as duryodhana says i may know dharma but my my sense organs physical body mind is not cooperating to adhere to dharma understand you understand can someone confirm that you are understanding you are not people do not follow dharma either because of avidya that means what ignorance lack of knowledge of dharma or even though i know dharma either because of laziness or because of procrastination or simply because the mind is not willing to adhere because it is difficult we don't follow dharma clear that is the second message so try and adhere to dharma it requires your own effort that's the free will your free will should be utilized to follow dharma systematically too find the most important message which we all tend to forget and in our hurry bury life we just no don't pay attention dharma will have the final say dharma is the universal law universal law will take its own course and give the right results for everybody every time always so nobody can say that no i will be adharmic and i will still continue to be happy dharma will always have the final say and so this shloka shloka number 33 
normally wrongly understood by many people. So I want to give a lot of clarification on this particular shloka. So in this shloka, Bhagavan is saying, what is he saying? Telling Arjuna, hey Arjuna. So there is a question by Arjuna. Arjuna has a question to Bhagavan in the Vishwarupa form Shurupa. Who are you? What is that you are doing here? I am not able to understand your function. So Bhagavan is saying that I have now taken the form of time. Time means what? The duration during which all things happen. And as per universal law, in the entire process of time, only dharma is playing out its role. Please understand. So, dharma is at various levels. I told you, first is Vrita dharma, the whole cosmos is organized systematically. Then comes Samanya dharma, that all people have to follow. That is what? Ahimsa paramo dharma ha, satyam bada dharmam, all those things. Speak the truth, respect elders. Be peaceful, don't be violent, follow non-violence, follow the right way. All those things are Samanya Dharmam. Then there is Vishesha Dharmam, special Dharma, depending on your position, your functions in society, that you have to follow. So, as long as one follows the Samanya Dharma and Vishesha Dharma, now understand. You are following the universal law. Are you understanding? There is a flow that is happening in the universe. It is called dharma. I mean, pictorial representing. If you follow dharma, you are going to go along with the flow. If you don't follow dharma and follow adharma, you are trying to go against the flow. When you go against the flow, what happens? As long as you got some strength, you will be able to move forward or sustain. The moment your strength is reduced, imagine a person swimming against the current. Have you heard of the story? Huh? People swim against the current. Can go as far as your physical energy can sustain you. After that, what will happen? The current will consume you. So please understand, as long as you follow dharma, you are what? Adhering on the right path and so things will work out. If not, now over a period of time, things will be taken care of. But if you try to swim against the current, that means what? If you try to go against dharma, then you will get consumed by the universal dharma. We say in normal parlance in our not vivaharam, the law will take its course, right? For people who don't follow law, you have seen many, many people, right? From very famous personalities, to so not so famous personalities, they don't follow dharma, right? With which, right? Purvadam. So, what do we say? And law will catch up slowly, you have seen. It doesn't happen immediately, even in the case, in the world. Somebody who does something wrong, doesn't get, what, the punishment immediately. What, they go on appealing, 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 right? And finally, one fine day, the rod of dharma will come back strongly and will put an end to that person. So, remember these points when you are studying this shloka. So, Bhagavan is telling Arjuna that, hey Arjuna, get up. Get up and fight. So, to Arjuna, the message is get up and fight. What kind of dharma is Bhagavan asking Arjuna to do quickly? Samanya dharma, vishesha dharma. Asking to follow dharma, it is vishesha dharma. What is the message for us, students of Gita? We have to follow samanya dharma and vishesha dharma systematically every day. Most difficult, right? Get up in the morning and you have to pledge yourself to follow dharma. People say, pledge something, pledge a vote for me, that, all this nonsense. You pledge yourself to follow dharma. Extremely important. You take care of yourself first. Then the world will get taken care of automatically. Don't bother about anybody else. When you get up in the morning, as I keep saying, Ratasvanami, all those things you do, and say, today, 
I will try and my level best to adhere to dharma as much as possible. Nobody can be 100%. Doesn't mean you get a license and say that, you know, nobody can follow under so I will not follow. As much as possible, follow dharma. And when you follow dharma, you will get the results. Dharma is equal to punyam is equal to happiness. In this case, Bhagavan is saying, you follow your dharma properly, Vishesha dharma, then you will emerge victorious. And you can enjoy the entire kingdom. So for Arjuna is enjoying the kingdom. For us, it is enjoying a very happy and peaceful life. Are you connecting clearly? So Bhagavan's message is not just what Bhagavan told Arjuna. It's a message to us. We follow dharma properly. We can be happy. Now, the third point is what is very confusing to people. So Bhagavan says, I already have done everything what is supposed to happen. I have already what? Killed these people in this case. No, since a very contextual thing, Bhagavan is saying, these warriors have already been killed by me. That means what? I have taken care of what is going to happen. Doesn't mean Bhagavan is interfering and coming and doing as per his whims and fancies. Please understand. That's what I told you. Remember these three points in the beginning of the sloka. Dharma will take its course and give the right result. If it means somebody has to be exterminated, that will happen. Somebody has become very rich, it will happen. Somebody has to attain supreme peace, that will happen. If you are systematically studying Vedanta Shastras, if you have done the right things, if you are supposed to get Jnanam and Moksham, you will get Jnanam and Moksham. Clear? So here, when say Bhagavan says, I have already killed, that means what? These warriors have been already killed by me. Bhagavan's role here is what? Bhagavan has taken the form of Dharma. Please understand. Dharma is taking its course. And Bhagavan and Dharma are not different from each other. Write down. Why? Dharma has its roots in Vedas. Write down. Nobody can say this is right, this is wrong on their own. Anybody who says that this is the right way to do, this is what will get you the ultimate result. Now you do this engineering, that art, all that nonsense. They all fall into the category of avidya. Parishads already have declared. Avidyaya mantare vartamana ha. Swayam dhiraf panditam anyamana ha. Nandramyamana pariyanti mudha ha. Andhe naiva niyamana yathanda ha. So they think they know everything. They declare. Exactly, see, literally, Parishad has told. Comes in two Upanishads. So, what? Avidyaya mantare vartamana ha. They already are in ignorance. Swayam dhira panditam manyamana. Just because they can speak something which is very flowery, which is very attractive, they think they are the greatest pundits. But Upanishads say they are the biggest fools. Dandram manyamana pariyanti muda. They keep, they take people in a wonderful round again and again. So, again, they go around, come again to the same place. It is like blind leading the blind. So, who don't know dharma, who don't know Vedas, who don't stick to the Vedika dharma, have to be literally thrown away. Shatra say, Parishad say, Acharya says in Bhashyam. So, follow the right dharma. So, if you cannot follow dharma, either because you are following the wrong person, or you don't know what is dharma, but there is no excuse. Seek out the right people, understand Vedika dharma. Why dharma has got its roots in Vedas? Vedokhilo dharma mulam. Write down. Dharma can be established only by Vedas. Then, based on the Vedas, Smriti, Itihasa, Purana, everything is there. Tishilicha, Dham, Acharas, Chaiba, Sadhu, Nam. Atmana, So, the only way to follow what has already been established and what is going to happen is by adhering to dharma. Once you are adhering to dharma, what happens? You become an instrument of executing dharma. Write down. When you become an instrument of executing dharma, then the right result will accrue to you. Because 
Dharma will finally give the right result to the right people, the right place, right time, right way, right quantity, everything. So, seemingly what happens, we are in a you know, very hurry, hurry world, keep on running around. And then every now and then we look at some news, something happening and say, what is happening? I didn't expect it, that has happened to me. This person who is doing Adharma is prospering, right? You keep on saying, right? You will have to give time. Because as I told you, even if you are swimming against the current, you will sustain or move ahead against the current for some time, as long as the energy is there. So that means what? So much punyam balance is there for that person. That's why even though the person is doing Adharma, is still being protected. Only punyam will protect from punishment for some time. But more and more you do papam, the punyam balance will go away. And finally, what is happening? When there is no punyam, there is zero punyam balance, and huge papam balance, then what happens? Like a thunderbolt come and strike, and what? One dose, one close. Say no? One shot, and the person will be gone. We I never expected. Ah, punyam balance is zero. Please understand. So the message in this shloka is dharma will emerge victorious. Dharma rakshati rakshitaha. Dharma will take care of all the right happenings. If you follow dharma, you will emerge victorious. And so you become an instrument. So Bhagavan is saying, Arjuna, you are a mere instrument. Means what? If you follow dharma and do, then you will get the benefit. If you don't follow dharma, dharma is supposed to take care of all these people who are supposed to die. Yes or no? If you don't kill them, in some other way they will get killed. Are you getting the point? Very important. See, suppose somebody is doing something wrong to you. Small example I am giving you. Okay. It is not necessary that you yourself have to punish the person. I should take revenge on that person. You all have that point, no? This person is doing wrong things to me. Now, so many things. I don't want to go into details. Each one of you got a special no, relationship with some people, right? You don't need to bother about whether I have to start the process of revenge. Let me do one, two, three, four, make sure the person is destroyed. No. You don't get into that gleam. You do what is dharma, what is right, you keep on following. It's very difficult, right? Easy to speak but difficult to follow. Only when you are faced in no situation in life, you will know exactly whether you are able to adhere to it. So you keep doing dharma. One fine day, that person will get the due with interest. Just like for money, when you deposit somewhere, you get interest. This papam also will come with interest. And it comes with interest. With whether, you, whether the person knew or not, really doesn't matter. Somebody has done wrong. The universal, universal law of dharma will work. And it will take care. Clear? So, what is my role? My role is to follow dharma, both samanya dharma and vishesha dharma, systematically, morning to night, day in and day out, without getting what? Every now and then. Ah, lazy or whatever. No, you have to energize yourself. Just by thinking that, by following dharma, I am, I am going to be directly blessed by Bhagavan. When you follow dharma, you are actually in line with Bhagavan's what? process for the entire world. That itself is enough reward, right? If you are in the right way, path of path laid down by God, the right way itself is enough for you to be energetic. And so, Uttishtha, that is why this word Uttishtha is there, get up. So, in Surya Namaskara Mantram, there is a no particular anuvakam. Uttishtha maasvatta agnyamitcha dhumbharata. Get up, my dear boy. Don't sleep. Don't sleep doesn't mean no, two literal meanings. One is you keep on sleeping till 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. That is one thing. Here don't sleep means don't be ignorant of dharma. Agnyamitcha dhumbharata. There it says, get ready for doing all your karmas. Here, the real internal meaning is Go on the path to recognize the ultimate truth, the light given by Agni. So, be on the path of dharma. So, the message is very clear that for me, I have to follow dharma systematically. Don't bother about some people who have done wrong to you. Dharma will take care as long as we adhere to dharma. If we talk, 
something and then start doing adharma, then what will happen? We also will get consumed by dharma. So we have to be very careful. Stick to dharma. Adharma people will be taken care of automatically. So here don't think like all these ignorant people who give Gita lecture. Bhagavan will come and do that. Bhagavan will come. Bhagavan will not physically do anything. Please understand. Bhagavan as dharma here. Write down. Dharma will take care of people. Both what? Dharma will take care of both ways. Happiness as well for people who follow dharma. For adharmic people, they will get the punishment. So is this sloka clear now? The inner meaning of sloka number 33. Not literally, you know, many people say, Bhagavan has already taken care of everything. What is the role for me? Bhagavan has done everything. Also people say, that is fate. No. It will play out. Only thing is Bhagavan knows what each person will do at any point in time. That means what? Dharma will take care of itself. That's what it means. So understand this correctly. Adhere to Dharma. Now look at the Padavi Bhaga Anmaya for this sloka. Very interesting sloka to be understood properly. Tasmat Tvam Uttishtha Yashaha I will do once again. Lavasva Jitva Shatrun Bhungshva Rajam Samaritham Maya Eva Ete Nihataha Nihataha Purvam Eva Nimittamatram Bhava He Sabya Sachin. Anmaya is over also. Tasmat Pam Uttishtha Labhasva Yashaha. I'll do fast because people say PV is done already. Okay. Jitva Shatrun Bhungshva Samaruddham Rajam. So it's not just a normal kingdom. Samaruddham means prosperous. Samaruddham Rajam. Eva. Ete Purvam. Eva. Nihataha. Maya. Bhava. Nimitta matram he sabya sachin. So, no one, the meaning, anmya meaning, tasmat, therefore. Why therefore? The previous sloka Bhagavan has said, Kalosmi loka kshayakrat pravrittaha. Lokan samahartum iha pravrittaha. I have now taken the role of time to destroy people who are supposed to be destroyed. Simply you will not destroy everybody. So don't say, hey, I don't know when Bhagavan will destroy me. I am scared. It's also, people simply use, ignorance is being used in many ways. You simply follow dharma. That's all you need to do. Don't worry about the result, right? This will happen as long as you stick to dharma. Rite pitvam na bhavishyanti sarve. Vina api, without you also, all these warriors will die. E avasthitaha prithyani keshu yodha. All these people, that's what. Therefore, connect sloka 32 to the word tasmat in the 33rd sloka. Therefore, what you need to do? Don't be sleeping. Don't be crying. Don't sit on the chariot and say, oh, I have to kill Drona, I have to kill Bhishma. Bhishma Drona have already entered Bhagavan's mouth. In that picture, is see is Arjuna seeing he is killing them. Look at it. When he saw the picture of Bhishma Drona entering, if Bhishma Drona enters Bhagavan's mouth or not forgotten, eh? previous Lukas, eh? especially Karna also went, eh? right? And all the hundred sons of Dhritarashtra. In that picture, did he see he killing them? No. It means what? Even, it's just a visual representation. Even without him, they are going to be consumed. So, better Arjuna follow his duty. If he did not do his duty, what would happen? If Arjuna had not fought the Kurukshetra war and run away, what would happen? He would have incurred papam. Write down. He did not follow dharma. Vishesha dharma was for a Kshatriya to fight the unscrupulous adharmic people. But also special dharma for them, you see. That's why he being a policeman, army man, Army woman also keep each other, police woman, whatever it is. It's a special responsibility. You see, not only they have to follow Samanya Dharma in normal times, they have to follow, they have to, they have to kill, they have to punish Shesha Dharma during abnormal times. So, very, very difficult role. So, better do what? 
ऋतुज हम पूजा पाठ करके आराम से शांत रहो नो नीड टू इंटरफेयर विद वायलेंस राइट बीइंग वायलेंट इज वेरी डेंजरस हां यू सी नाउ ही सेइंग यू आर बोर्न इन दिस पर्टिकुलर नो फंक्शन सो सी भगवान इज डूइंग ऑल फंक्शन राइट भगवान इज क्रिएटिंग सस्टेनिंग दिस ऑल एवरीथिंग इज डूइंग सो यू शुड नॉट वरी अबाउट what is going to happen do your dharma tvam uttishtha get up you get up therefore you get up and what you should do labhasva yashaha so there is a consequence first is jitva shatrun by conquering the enemies labhasva yashaha attain fame labhasva attain yashaha fame So by conquering the enemies, what is because tomorrow next day paper it will come. Arjuna killed hundred warriors. You see, reading paper, no one person in the border, in defence of the country, killed ten people. Got that particular award, gallantry award. We give no Paramir Chakra all those things. You attain fame. Those days there is no Paramir Chakra. They are giving. Okay, so attain fame. by conquering the enemies and after that what happens for all the effort the person has put in bhumshwa enjoy enjoy what samriddham rajyam samriddham raj not just kingdom it's a prosperous kingdom no many 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 riches are there full of lot of prosperity so enjoy the prosperous kingdom eva so now up to here is one group तस्मात्मुत्तिष्ठलभस्वयशी निहता मया हता हता मीन किल्ड निहता नितरा हता वेरी वेल किल्ड दट मीन वाट नॉट लाइक हाफ डेड सडनली द पर्सन कैन मेकअप कंप्लीटली एक्सटेमिनेटेड ऑलरेडी बीन किल्ड बै मया बै मी मया मया विच विभक्ति बै मी सो आई एम बीन द इंस्ट्रूमेंट हियर डोंट लिटरली टेक तृतीया व्यक्ति डोंट लिटल भगवान इज कमी इन किलिंग What is the message I just now told you? Dharma will take care of the wrong people also. So dharma, by the way, dharma rakshati rakshita ha. Dharma protects people who follow dharma. Dharma also destroys people who don't follow dharma. That is the very thin line. You are on the right side. You are protected. You are on the left side or on the wrong side. You will be destroyed. So, but you have to be patient. You cannot say nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. He is still following a dharma. He is following wrong way. Eh? Don't keep on complaining. Things will happen. Similarly, if something wrong has happened to you, I tell you, it's a very complex karma theory. Nimittam is very complex. I have done some dharma or papam sometime. what lajagar somebody become instrument to inflict damage on me because i also should undergo damage right i have done something wrong now you see in process of inflicting damage to me what has happened my papam is gone this fellow has become the nimittam or the instrument gets papam so this person has come personally removed my papam and acquired papam Are you getting the point? How nice it is! Transfer of papam from me to somebody else. So if something happens to you which you didn't expect, which is not the normal flow, which is seemingly not correct, don't grumble, don't complain. What you should say? I have done something wrong earlier. So this person now is you now accumulating tons and tons of papam, and so that person, if, if see, if you are a follower of dharma, and you yourself get. some kind of problems imagine what will happen to adharmic people no care recklessly with impunity you know the word impunity impunity they just do whatever they want they don't even think about what they are doing is right or wrong what will happen to them 
who but you have to wait it may happen in this life in front of you or it may not happens so don't worry that is not my problem clear what is the pledge we have to take the only pledge is not some election pledge voting pledge nonsense only pledge is i will stick to dharma 100% as much as possible that is only thing we can do please understand nanya pantha vidyate janaya so whenever problems come it is factor of two things testing whether you are going to stick to dharma also whatever wrong things had done earlier those have been given the result now so as long as this thought is there consistently you will be peaceful if you start fighting what is happening then what happens not only will you continue to do wrong things you will not follow dharma you will follow adharma mentally tortured mentally you know totally helpless so don't get into that particular vicious cycle that is why knowledge of dharma is important if you don't know what is dharma speak to people talk to people consult people who know dharma follow dharma and you follow dharma consistently no need to run behind so many jyotish so many that what people who predict the future horoscope nothing is required follow dharma consistently so bhagavan also has told you have to follow dharma that is the only way so <clears throat> don't follow adharma that is the message ete purvam eva they have been already what nihataha maya nihataha have been killed by me so so what you should do bhava nimitta matram just become an instrument that means what the message to arjuna is be an instrument do your vishesha dharma kill the people for us the message is be an instrument follow dharma as long as you are following dharma you are an instrument in the hand of god if you don't follow dharma you are an instrument in the hand of what say you no know what shaitana whatever no demons so be careful whose instrument you are so be a mere instrument bhava nimitta matram literal meaning but here the the real inner meaning is follow your dharma he savyasa chinna he arjuna last class i read out arjuna is a very capable person such a capable person himself he is what completely engulfed with sorrow and is not able to follow dharma yes it is difficult sometimes what happens when you have got too many problems and so many things are engulfing your mind you get say ah i am totally beaten out by this adharmic people i am not able to get up i am not able to do that is that is the time you have to be really brave stick to dharma get up and what uddhare atmanatmanam you have to energize yourself and follow dharma properly tasma chastram pramanante khadya karyam vyavasthitau ज्ञात्वा शास्त्र विधानोक्तम कर्म कर्तुम इहारहसि टू टाइम्स भगवान जी शास्त्रम शास्त्र मींस वैदिक धर्मम सो आइदर यू लर्न और इफ यू लर्न टू फॉलो इग्नोरेंस इज नॉट एन एक्सक्यूज फॉर नॉट फॉलोइंग धर्म दैट इज व्हाई द एंटायर वैदिक धर्म इज प्रेजेंटेड टू यू बाय महापरिवा हिंदू धर्म सेवन वॉल्यूम बुक इज अवेलेबल बाय इट don't only study online don't only listen online buy it and study directly and make notes in multiple languages is there in tamil telugu english should no pay something no don't try to get everything free anything that comes free also go away free so while you want to refer every now and then pay money and buy this book very cheap all the books on dharma upanishads or brahma sutra everything they are all very very cheap to so the value they give for the value that they give all these books are extremely cheap in fact in my opinion all people should have one one full room full of books keep on studying all this dharma and understand follow that is the only way out otherwise what will happen you only go on accumulating you no know, wealth and not books and knowledge all this wealth will go away and next life will come again whether we in a position to earn wealth we don't know so be careful with something very very serious adhere to 
dharma so what is the message here adhere to dharma as much as possible so now look at the shankara bhashyam quickly let's see what are the important points at adi shankara acharya is mentioning tasmat tam uttishtha bhishma drona prahrutaya thirtha they are all great warriors avasthita they are all there in front of you should get up ajeya devairapi arjunena jita so even though they have been victorious in previous wars you will vanquish them so these people cannot be beaten by gods who drona bhishma but you will be able to beat them because unfortunately they have followed adharma another important message the most powerful most capable most no able people they also if they follow adharma it is like one full pot of very energetic milk milk is supposed to give energy one drop of poison is enough to make the entire milk poisonous similarly person extremely capable extremely valorous extremely you know useful but what like one drop of poison is on the side of adharma in spite of any amount of capability you will meet the end so that's what is very important point as shankaracharya is pointing out so an important point is see kevalam punyehi that's what i told you see exactly what other is saying kevalam punyehi tat prapyate so you can beat them only by punyam are you getting the point you don't need to adhere to adharma to defeat adharmic force sometimes you say in tamil we say mulla mulla ladukanam all that is fine special cases is fine that only special people will do we don't need to do all those things we should follow just dharma so acharya is reiterating only through punyam alone huh you can attain this result of you no know, killing such great people who even gods have not beaten so punyehi tat prapyate so jitva shatrun so who are shatrun who are the enemies duryodhana prabhrutin warriors like duryodhana etc all these people what will happen bhungshwa rajyam samruddham so you will be able to enjoy the kingdom asapatnam akashtakam so so easily you have to defeat provided you follow dharma how maya eva ete nihataha nischayena so like in a magic show suddenly you know something that the magician touches it will fall down something will come something happen no like that sometimes what will happen you will see without your effort many good things will happen you will be wondering why am i being bestowed with this kind of good things previous punyam so while good things come we want it i deserve this ah, i only did but when bad things happen why oh, at all it is happening to me grumbling so please understand so again the message is follow dharma obtain punyam obtain merits things will happen to nischayena hataha i told you no nitaram hataha nischayena ra it is clearly not not half dead wake up again nischayena hataha pranaihi pranaihi viyojita acharya shankar is giving lot of you know, life has been taken away it's not like life is still left and the person is as if pretending to be dead so nischayena hataha pranaihi viyojita purvameva so sometimes is in tamil somebody bothers you continuously yenda i am prana na vaangare you say no who is going to take this prana bhagavan will decide whose prana should go when so purvameva nimitta matram bhava tvam hi savya sachin so be an instrument follow dharma savyena vamena api vamena means left hand also hastena and vamena hastena means left hand sharana all the zero che path one can also fight using the left hand and the bow and arrow sabya sachi iti uchyate arjuna ha clear so understand is very important put three star shloka the very important shloka to be understood properly don't misunderstand misinterpret and go on grumbling 
Bhagavan is already taken care of this thing. Bhagavan will do this. Will Bhagavan do that? Will Bhagavan not? Don't keep on calling Bhagavan for everything. Then what is your role? Huh? So be an instrument. Nimitta matram bhava he sabhyasa. Chin. So that means what? You are a nimittam of dharma only when you follow dharma. Don't follow adharma. So some people also loot the bank also can say, I am also an instrument. An instrument of some, some other forces. Always to opposite forces, forces. Daivi hesha gunamai. One is daivi. Another is what? Asuri. There was a chapter, you all remember? Devasura sampad nibhaga yoga. All forgotten. I say Bhagavan is pointing out literally threadbare. Daivi sampad, asuri sampad. Be clear whether you are following dharma and being on the path of daivi sampad. Or following Adharma and getting Asuri. Even Asuri Sampad will also exist for some time. So only when there is Asuri Sampad, the, the, the power of Dharma can be shown, right? Otherwise, where will Dharma be? We know, come out clearly, you know, in the open. So understand this sloka clearly. Sloka number 34. We have time to chant the sloka and then we can end the class. Sri Bhagavan Ubacha. Dronancha Bhishpancha Jayadhratancha Karnam Tathanyana Piyodhavirana Maya Mayahatam Stam Jahimam Yatishthaha Yudhyasva Jeta Sirane Sapatlana Chant? Dronancha Bhishpancha Sri Bhagavan Uvacha Dronam cha bhishmam cha jayadratham cha karnam tathanyan api yodha viran maya hatam stvam jahima vyathishthaha yudhya svajeta sirane sapatnan Very well, all of us together. Chant the shloka. <coughs> Shri Bhagavanu Vacha Dronam cha bhishmam cha jayadratham cha Karnam tathanyana api yodha viran Maya hatam stam jahimam yathishthaha Yudhyasva jeta sirane sapatnan Om shanti 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 hi Couple of months who has not downloaded 11th chapter ebook download We'll take it up for it. We'll study again next portion the next class And the 10th chapter, Vibhuti Yogaha, PBA's book is available. Download and study systematically. We will continue further on Saturday morning, India time. And also, New Year is already born for the people following what? Lunar calendar. Uh, it's called Krodhi Nama Sambatsaram. So, the meaning itself is what? People are likely to be very, what? Getting angry every now and then. So, Keep calm, keep cool. So, the message is this year all of you should maintain a lot more patience, a lot more calmness. Happy Ugadi, happy new year to all of you. And Sunday, there will be also what? Hauramana Sammatsaram. Also, have the solar calendar will have new year. After that, from now on, Sankalpam, you should say Sri Krodhi Nama Sammatsara. Huh? What you should chant. Okay. Om Shan Rishan Rishan Dihi Om Pur Namada Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namudachate Pur Nasya Pur Namada Yapur Nameva Vashishate Om Shan Rishan Rishan Dihi Hari Om Shri Guru Pyona Maha Hari Om the Krishna 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 Krishna